It's my feel-good breakfast show. Now, from brain-controlled drones to surveillance drones, the city of Cape Town has begun testing drones in the fight against crime, and uh, they're using them as aerial sur surveillance tools during police raids as well. And joining me this morning to chat a bit more about that is, of course, Alderman J.P. Smith, representing uh, the mayoral committee in terms of safety and security, and also Henny Lowe, who's a drone operator. Good morning, gentlemen, and thank you for joining yeah. us this morning. Good morning. Thank you. All right, so Henny... Take me through. This is quite a weird and wonderful thing. I've actually never seen one close up like this, especially one this size. Tell me a bit more about the features of your drone. Okay, firstly, just to say, this is not a little commercial drone that's bought in the shop or hobby shop okay. that uh, we're working with. This is a <laughs> South African built, built military spec. Wow, so heavy drone. duty stuff. Yeah. Okay, this, is, so... this is the high end of it. Oh, this right. Is, like the this Ferrari. Is, this is the Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> All right, take me through some of the, the key features that make it so good. Well, the, the, the main thing to remember is, is that this stuff has been used in the film industry before for the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. So the, the big thing about this is built to carry a payload. So it's built to carry two, three, four, five, up to six kilograms of camera equipment that could be would, could be uh, put on the bottom. Yeah. So you could change up from FLIRs to SLR cameras or whatever you need to do. Um, topography, 3D photography, wow. whatever you need to do. And it's built to be field repairable. So the whole system is made to be serviced in the field mm -hmm. if you're out in the in Africa or in the bush to be able to fix the thing yeah. there. Also built, South African built, 100% from the ground up. Wow. Yeah, in Johannesburg. So the, the may, system may, may is... May I ask you to, to, yeah. to let it take off? Uh, yeah, we can. Yeah, the we operator can who's holding the, the controller behind just, just trying to make a, a distance. Little bit back, yeah. Okay, because it might just... All right, more. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Okay. It's really insane. You should feel the wind force that comes around. So obviously, very powerfully propelled machine. All right. So JP, come a bit closer. Can we come around closer? Wow. We... <laughs> oh, wow. Whatever happens, don't drop it on my head. Let it hang over there. So JP, what role does do these drones play in operations where police are involved and in fighting crime? Well, I think we've had about eight or nine months' worth of experimentation with the drones now. Yeah. And definitely tactical advantage. Get the drone in early, get your guys to swoop in on the house, watch your um, drug dealers scatter, able to see where they go, what they do. Even yeah. if they drop certain items, those items are warmer than the environment around them and show up. Mm -hmm. So a variety of useless stuff uh, for fires, during fires, after a fire, for mop-up, checking fire breaks, for disasters, during and after a disaster, engineering stuff, checking bridges, for land invasion, checking for urban creep. So an inc incredible variety of emergency and non-emergency uses that the city has for it. But that all um, you know, depends on how the regs have played out. And yeah. as they are now a little bit onerous, so in reality, not many people are going to be able to get past all the regulatory requirements. Yes. So pretty much we're all going to be dependent on full-time operators. So already yeah. the city has decided we're not going out to tender to buy our own. We're going out to tender to get operators yeah. to operate drones for our services. Wow, but from a safety and security point of view, it must be really amazing to have this kind of tool. And when we look at the future of drone technology, uh, Henny, what do you think it holds? Well, um, obviously operating choppers in certain environments is, is, is very expensive. So the drones are there basically as a low cost eye in the sky. So yeah. anything from uh, camera equipment, to topography, um, even payload delivery, yes. uh, putting out uh, even buoys for people out of the sea, you know, mm -hmm. on, a, on, a, on, a, on a, anything that you can deliver. So. Yeah. The drone technology is getting to that stage now where we can actually uh, say that, you know, with the commercial buy-in and what's happening in, 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 in the commercial aspect of it now, um, it's as much as you want delivered in the air or what you want in the air, we can put in the air. And Fantastic. We can, we well, can I think it. we have an incoming drone, gentlemen, but really fascinating, the future of technology and how it can help us keep our communities safer out there. Ewan, this is crazy, man. Look at this. Dude, how cool is that? That is amazing. Check that thing. Oh, wow. Man, I can't believe...